Yes, we are going to continue with the Z-Core, the Core XY 3D printer out of the box. Just one cantilever XY motion system that uh, is a proof of concept that I still need to prove that it is a working concept. Yes, I already got some feedback from somebody in the community, baby belt, baby belt, but he said that it is not really working. So I really have to get something on my in my hands in order to see if I failed something. So with some uh, supplies that I have here, I'm going to see if I can make a cat design out of it without fusion. Shall we start with this whole thing? I'm very curious because I was thinking about it a long time in between all of the videos, of course. Hey, let's uh, let's get started. Hey, Zach here. You know, I, I've been thinking a lot uh, lately, the last couple of weeks already. You know, before I'm going to continue in Fusion 360, I do want to try this cat design out in real life. So it's going to be a miniature version of it. I'm going to use some uh, materials that I have laying around. I already printed a lot of these and uh, we are going to use some cardboard, use some pieces of filament that I have left over because, hey, this, uh, this seems to be working perfect. Let's make a miniature of the Z-Core. Yeah, so all cardboard pieces are drawn and also cut out of the uh, you know left leftover cardboard. So I made I made six of these. These are small you know templates based upon this one. And so for each corner, I'm going to use two of those, and they are going to be held in place with some zip ties. I think I did, did this going on well. So this is coming here, and then the other one comes on top of it. And then I'm going to put the uh, the pulleys that I have right here. They are coming just in between there. The whole thing is to see if it is going to work. So that is what I'm going to do for every single corner, except for the part where the X and Y axis are going to move. So for that, I made a little bit different one. Of course, I'm not going to use linear rails or smooth rods or v slot rollers. No, this is just going to be cardboard that is, uh, you know, just uh, sitting right over here. This is going to be bent over this part. And then uh, this part is going to be attached right over right over here. Also with some, uh, some uh, zip ties. And uh, then I got this part moving. For the carriage, I'm going to do exactly the same kind of thing going to sit right over here and it's going to be bent over the uh, x-axis I really hope that this is going to work <sighs> we will see we will see you know this is the first time that I'm doing something like this I never designed a printer from scratch well I actually I did but never came to it to actually print and build it so all the pulleys with the filament pieces are now in place yeah the movement is not that big it's going more about you know how this is going to actually work so it's uh it's it seems to be uh, finished uh, <laughs> this is a uh, <clears throat> How it looks like this uh, this can move sort of freely yeah so i used some zip ties to keep the yellow ones in place so that it runs over the uh, sort of carriage i don't know where to hold it actually <sighs> anyways so if i grab for example here and i move one of the belts i'm supposed to i can not put a lot of tension on it but i feel that the Y axis wants to move as you could see so because of the limitation if if I pull the this one I see that the X axis tries to move along the X, X axis it works kind of Thank you. 
So now everything is glued together. Gloop sent me the, the, the care package. I still have it, I'm still using it. So check the link in the description uh, if you want to also get one of those glue care packages. So, so far, um, all the parts are a little bit bigger. It's what happens. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to use some bearing with flanges and using M3 times 40 screws in order to put all those bearings in the right place. Let's uh, let's do that. So far, it's uh, looking good. The parts that are supposed to be moving are moving, so that's good. <laughs> Just imagine glooping uh, something like this together. I can start all over again. I don't want to have that. So let's uh, let's get into the uh, you know mechanics. And here we go. We have some spacers. I printed 12 of these. Very nice on my Ember prototype build plate. Check uh, the link in the description and uh, you know, let's uh, use the spacers. You know, Ivan Miranda, if you are seeing this, spacers. Well, I do need to say it was fairly work to do the very tiny uh, shins and also the very small nuts. I didn't get nuts, but I mean, look at that. It's all seems to roll just fine. The spacers are doing their work. Just, yeah, this is, uh, this is smooth. This is nice. So everything is okay. Now we are going to install the timing belts for the uh, a path and the B path and just like mentioned it's going to be a similar kind of system I'm going to use the, uh, the zip tie method because the uh, holes here are a little bit too uh, they are not going to work so but eventually using zip ties to uh, tighten both like I did with the first version and then doing a zip tie uh, on both sides so that the uh, knots from the zip ties are uh, going to match up with this. So. And it is all, you know, belted. Is this how it is called? If you are putting timing belts on a mechanical system you are belting it up. Anyways, so it is looking very nice compared to the uh, the primitive version. <laughs> it's, yeah, this is cardboard. What can I say? You know, I had to be uh, <laughs> loose on that and not uh, taking out uh, too, uh, too much tension on it. But now let's see if it is actually going to work because that is the basic question. Is the Z core or the Z core, is it actually going to work? You will find out. First, the lower belt. Let's see what happens. So the problem is, both belts are moving. And that is because I have used the zip tie right over here. But, in most of the Core XY setups, I have seen that all belts are ending up on the carriage. That both belts are moving, it's pretty obvious, I guess. But. I mean, like, this works because two belts for the whole thing, it does seem to work. But if I'm doing like that, it doesn't seem to be working. I mean, I can move the carriage as well. But it's, there is nothing that holds the carriage from moving over the x-axis. Because when I do that, then, then this is being moved. So there needs to be something that holds the carriage on its place. Maybe that is the whole basic point of it. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm figuring something out here. So if I'm using both belts, everything seems to be moving. The carriage, the, uh, the X axis, the Y axis. But if one belt stops and the other one goes, then the Y axis seems to be working. Okay, I need to think about this. If I'm looking to the Voron belt setup for the B belt and the a belt both belts have their own path i have tried to do that here as well they are using the front side of the whole frame in order to pull the x-axis over the y-axis to the front and backwards so there is a moment of pulling force to one side 
So I don't know which kind of belt mechanic I need to think about that pulls the, the X axis over the Y axis. So I need to really think about this idea, how I am going to use this concept using the Z core in order to work it fine. So I've been checking my forum 0.1. I hope this is very well visible. The motors are in the back. When pulling here, that this moves over the Y axis, that might be true depending on where you pull. If I do the same thing right over here on the back, the X axis is moving or the carriage is moving over the X axis. I have been looking to this design and I see that one belt is going the bottom belt is going from the carriage to here and then around the frame and then to the motor. The upper belt is going to the other direction. You will get a T and that is exactly what I have here too. So I was thinking, what if instead of having the belts, this is very bold what I'm going to do. I hope I have enough uh, timing belts, T for timing belts. It will work terrible or it will work terrific so what i'm going to do the lower belt doesn't really matter which kind of belt but one of the belts i'm going to run from instead of this one to the other direction and then around here no that doesn't work so basically i need to move this more to the front so that the belt that one belt is going behind here then going all the way down around here to the carriage and from the carriage back over this bearing and then to there since there are so many things that i need to do redesign the you know connector part right here with some extra bearings or stuff like that um some spacers and some other things i'm going to leave it for the next video so if you are not subscribed subscribe to the channel and uh you know uh i do like this whole idea uh, i think it is already going to look amazing it's uh it does it does work it's now diagonal uh basically <laughs> we have a year this is looking fun. Um, anyways, I'm going to continue in the next video with the Z core. I, I think it is going to look amazing. And I think there might be a possibility that it is going to work. But that I will leave for the next video. You know, if you are looking for a 3D printer that you don't have to uh, brainstorm about, then check out this video right over here where I'm talking about the Creality. Gay, right here.